Hello friends, subscribers, and everyone else on the internet. My name is Daniel Rosal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, bringing you this video today from the city center of Jerusalem on January 2, 2024. So our new year is underway. And I really hope that whoever is watching this, that you had a great uh, New Year's holiday period, however you spent it, wherever you spent it, with whoever you spent it. And I hope that you're also excited to be going into 2024 with perhaps some new projects in mind. I wanted to talk just a little bit about the uh, content projects that I'm undertaking during the year or what my plans are. The first thing to say is that I plan on scaling down the uh, regularity at which I upload to YouTube. I've never uploaded my YouTube videos on a fixed schedule, probably because I'm one of the most disorganized people you've ever met and there was absolutely no chance that if I set a schedule it was going to be adhered to. So I've just been uploading and making these videos whenever I get an idea. I had a friend ask me once, what's your process for making YouTube videos, planning and strategy? And I was like, there is literally no strategy. I get an idea for a video and I jot down a note in Google Calendar and that's pretty much how I make my videos. I think a lot of my video production to date has been learning what I call the technical aspects of video, something that I'm really interested in because I'm just generally kind of geeky and interested in tech, stuff like lighting, lighting, sound and video. And I think that's probably been more of a focus for me to date than the actual content I'm creating. And I'm trying to change that. So more thoughtful content uploaded less regularly. One project I'm really excited about is working on my first documentary. It's been a big life aspiration of mine to produce like a meaty, at least 30 minutes independently produced documentary at some point during my life. And I've just started working on my first one. There's of course pre-production and production and post-production. So it's going to take a few months, especially because all of this stuff, including my YouTube channel and all the content I produce is basically just something I do because I'm really passionate about creativity and creating. This isn't my job. This isn't even a part-time job. It's just something I do at nights. So I'm gonna be working on a documentary. I don't wanna to mention too much, but I am mentioning it just for the purpose of accountability so that if 2024 in its entirety comes and goes and there's no Daniel Rosal documentary on the internet, you can send me a message saying, what the hell happened to your documentary? And hopefully I will say, here's the link. I also wanted to quickly mention my podcast. For years, I've had a podcast that's kind of just sat there on the internet derelict. And I recently got new podcast hosting from a company called Spreaker, who I'm absolutely loving because they make it tremendously easy to host multiple shows through one dashboard. And in general, they make the process of podcast hosting and production no more complicated than it needs to be, which is not very complicated. The Daniel Rosal podcast is basically just the audio components of my YouTube videos, which is something I've thought about doing for years and I was simply too lazy to do it. So if you prefer to get content through the pro through the medium of audio, in other words, you don't need to look at my talking head in my famously boring home office, then go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, as well as everywhere else that is offering uh, podcatching. Uh, I think so. So you can definitely get it there. I usually don't mention stuff to do with my professional working life, what some people might call a day job in my private content, but I did want to mention one content initiative that I've recently started because it basically intersects with the idea of the content I'm creating in 2024. If you happen to be working in the field of impact investing, ESG, sustainable finance, or development finance, please consider subscribing to my new podcast called Readings and in Impact Investing. I've been working in impact investing for a couple of years now. I think it's a fascinating field. And there's also a lot of really amazing reports being produced in the field of impact investing. What I've decided to do is take those reports and simply read them so that other people can get them when they're at the gym or commuting or driving or whatever. It's called Readings and Impact Investing. It's got a website called readingsandimpact.org and it's available as a podcast, again, through Spotify, Apple Podcasts and most of the podcast distribution channels. Finally, I wanted to mention something totally unrelated to content, and that is the coronavirus. A lot of people in Israel have really forgotten that the coronavirus is still circulating in our population and harming, and in some instances, killing people. Obviously, we have a war going on at the moment, so pretty much all of our attention has shifted to that. But I just wanted to record a quick PSA telling people that the health funds, the Kupot Cholim in Hebrew, are still offering vaccines for coronavirus. I just got mine today in central Jerusalem through Maccabi Health Services. If you happen to be a Maccabi uh, customer, or I think patient is probably a better word, 
Then just to let you know that the Rotar Clinic on Agrippa Street, that's the Maccabi Clinic in central Jerusalem, they're currently offering coronavirus vaccines between the hours of 12 and 2 p.m., on specifically Tuesday. You do need to make an appointment and unlike when the coronavirus stuff was at its peak, I found it not quite so seamless to get the vaccine. I had to actually go into the building eventually and say, hey, I want an appointment for the vaccine, but I did uh, get it today and I just want to encourage people to take advantage of the excellent medical care that we have here in Israel and go out and get vaccinated. Vaccinated. I'm not sure if it's possible to get the COVID and the flu vaccines together in Israel, but I got both mine uh, in about a week apart. So if you especially have any chronic healthcare conditions or respiratory conditions like me, I have asthma, I think it's really important to go out and get this booster shot to get vaccinated against COVID. Because I'm currently in the process of getting all my sort of content organized and all my channels operating for the start of this year, I also decided to resurrect my uh, MailChimp newsletter, which is basically a newsletter that I'm going to be putting out once a month with my kind of main videos and podcasts and other content. There is a link to that newsletter at the top of this YouTube channel. I'll put one in this description as well. And if you'd like to get my content through uh, email, then uh, please feel free to sign up there and uh, you'll be getting those updates shortly. I've received some really great content ideas from people over the past few months. They've all been noted and put into some sort of Google spreadsheet and uh, I'm going to be working on a few of those. So I always take note of them and I really appreciate hearing from people with ideas for interesting subjects, particularly offbeat ones about life in Israel and Jerusalem. Thanks so much for watching today's video. It'll also be available as a podcast. Keep well and looking forward to making new videos very shortly.